Hello everyone, this is Oscar with the ADUGuys.com. I'm here doing this video to share with you guys some information I got from the city of Placentia. I'm very happy to uh, about the information I found out and I definitely want to share it with you guys. Uh, so Placentia is one of the cities, uh, the only one that I found out so far that will allow you to do a gar uh, garage conversion into a JDU and they will also allow you to do an addition and make that addition a JDU automatically in, instead of the two-step process and then also build up to 1200 square feet in the rear. Um, if you're doing a, a room addition, they want you to have six or 10 foot side, uh, side uh, setbacks uh, either on, uh, for example, if you're on the left side, you can do six or you can do 10. If you're on the right side, you can do six or 10 so either side you have to have six and ten uh, either one but the main thing that I'm very happy for um, this information that I'm sharing with you guys is that you have the door open for this AD, uh, JDU which I'm very happy and I'm pretty sure other cities will come into play and then also guys keep in mind that right now there's a lot of stuff going on out there you get a lot of information. A consultation is very important because that will give you your pros and cons prior to moving forward. A typical garage conversion, uh, ADU, all these uh, will endure a certain amount of work and then the fact that not all cities will allow you to do, for example, a two bedroom. All cities are have their own provisions. Uh, there are some cities that will allow you to do a 600 square foot uh, two bedroom ADU a lot of cities won't let you do that you have to have a minimum of 1,000 square foot so this is very important that you know and you get your findings prior to moving forward because if you don't have that you're gonna start a design on something that's not gonna be allowed and then the person's gonna submit that and say well the city has changed their laws and they won't allow you to do this no more and honestly guys that's not the way it works uh, you want to know your, your pros and cons prior to moving forward because you're going to get yourself in, 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 in a journey that's going to create a certain amount of costs, time, time and costs that you definitely want to know your pros and cons moving forward. And be aware of your garage conversions. Uh, any garages that are built in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s have more of a chance of not having the adequate foundation. It's very easy to find out how um, to, how to check it and this way you don't get no surprises from anyone so please uh, be aware of, of everything i hope my videos are helping you guys i'm doing my best uh, to get as much information out there for you guys uh, take care uh, thank you for watching this video subscribe share our videos and we'll keep you posted with any new findings take care